Wow, AMC CEO, I mean, the whole company is just doing incredible things like new stuff, moving stuff around, getting into new businesses. And in the latest, I'm gonna share with you in this video, two main, I mean, two very important, great news when you look at the near future, the medium and definitely the long term of AMC, even when we pass the squeeze. But definitely these are gonna play as catalysts even for the squeeze, but Remember, few weeks ago, I shared with you an article from an analyst, financial analyst, who actually made a very good walkthrough on why he thinks AMC fundamentally, from a fundamental standpoint, so even without the whole short selling thing, AMC is worth 80 bucks at least at least 80 bucks. So we are kind of, you know, not far from the 50% from those levels. And the, the, the news I'm going to share with you support and backs up exactly that idea. All right. So let's get into this. This is from Adam Aaron Twitter. So he tweeted today. Here is a stunning statistic. This weekend, AMC constitute, constituted fully nine of the top 10 highest grossing movie theaters in the U.S. Friday and Saturday nights. AMC was 15 to of the top 22. Clearly, AMC theaters doing many things right. We are proud of our leadership position. So before even getting to the next news, well, guys, this is very, very, very interesting. And in the positive side of things, why? Because the whole storyline, the whole narrative around AMC so far from big money from smart money from mainstream media was the price is to inflate it well even before that this company will never ever get back to where it was because nobody wants to go to theaters anymore and they were using netflix and amazon and you know all of these streaming services and platforms discovery plus disney plus to kind of you know i mean it's not because you have uber that people stopped taking taxis. It's not because you have DoorDash and Uber Eats that people stop going to restaurants. It's the exact same situation here with AMC. It's not because you can have the ability to sit on your couch, lay back on a Friday night or even a, th you know, a Sunday and watch a movie. Well, it's not because of that that it means people are gonna stop necessarily going to movie theaters. And we've seen since the last two, three months, since, you know, we, we kind of get out a little bit of the lockdowns. I mean, the numbers are coming and they are increasingly positive. And it means one single thing. Theaters are not dead. Theaters are here to stay. Not only because people are still wanting to go out, but more importantly, because the leadership and the management at AMC led by Adam Aaron are trying to do the very best in order to make this company not only survive, but to thrive. And you know what is good about it and the whole short squeeze thing? It's, it's gonna attract much more what I call OG traditional investors who are actually looking into companies like this, having much more value, but can actually give you growth. Who can, who, 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 who could have thought that AMC would have been in the crypto space in 2021? Nobody. So that is how powerful this means for the whole short squeeze thing because they're going to increase the buying pressure. Now, moving to the next one, I was talking about sitting, laying back, you know, and having the ability to watch a movie. Well, now you can watch an NFL football game at AMC Theater. News got dropped yesterday. You are going to like this. AMC Theater has got the rights to direct TV Sunday ticket starting tomorrow at 40 theaters. So starting today at 40 theaters, Watch pro football games at AMC. Admission is free when you join AMC Stops and buy a $10 AMC FNB gift card. Man, what a move. This was already kind of expected. Why? Because they started with the UFC fights. And then during the Olympics, you know, there were some rumors around maybe they're going to also stream the Olympics games, but there wasn't that much interest in these Olympics as the other 
just because of Delta and just because of the interesting year we had in 2020. So this is another stunning news that can bring much more revenue. Much more revenue for the company means much more investments. Much more investors means much more buying pressure. So even without the squeeze in play, this company it's setting itself to thrive in the future. So if that analyst was taking, I mean, the method he used, which is an, you know, an FC, a free cash flow, you know, it's putting AMC around one, I mean, $80 a share. Just imagine where it can sit with so much news coming in the future, in the near future, even without the squeeze happening. I mean, guys, right? 